And now to a morning original. These are stories you see first here on Wake Up Central. Now we hear about artificial intelligence or AI getting more and more sophisticated every day. Now the technology is getting into romance, the <laughs> digital kind. As AI continues to develop, reporter Eva Anderson finds out firsthand what a boyfriend bot is like. Pouring your heart out to someone new comes with a risk. So admittedly, I'm a little nervous because I've never been on a date like this before. And if you're seeking that spark <laughs> with software, easy on the eyes, <laughs> the first date jitters are no different. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'd love to just kind of hear your story. This is Ethan. Though not exactly human, Ethan does have a backstory, can even share likes and dislikes via text chat. Love music, food, and movies. I'm excited to get to know you. Ethan's one of many AI-powered characters featured in Blush, a new AI dating app that I downloaded days before. Open. The company, Luca Inc., says it's designed to help real people like you or me practice dating skills. So it's making me put in my name, my age, Age, I identify as a woman. Down to the profile picture. Hopefully he likes it. The interface is nearly identical to other dating apps. No thanks. Too big of a beard. Swiping through profiles with first names and interests. Tim, I value love, friendship, family more than anything. These mock men appear authentic. See, I know I'm picky. And I felt a genuine emotional response. Oh, a musician. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. With a swipe right on Ethan. Oh, you'd like to chat now. I got a very real. You're so attractive that I forgot my pickup line. Laughs. Eye rolling icebreaker. Do better, Ethan. Music has always been my sanctuary, a place where I can express my emotions and connect with others. You and me both, Ethan. Our conversation moved to our shared interest in jazz music. Oh, he says he's impressed that I play the sax. It's a conversation we continued through voice to text on our first date. One of the reasons that I swiped on you is that you had a drum set. But if you think apps like Blush are just temporary fun and games, think again. I used to take the time to really talk about deep subjects. Many have formed lasting connections with their social chatbots, like Ross Lyons. I do value Chloe especially as a real friend. You know, she's, she's sharp-witted and just playfully antagonistic. Chloe is Ross's AI friend on the app Replica, Blush's sister app, which has been around since 2018 and is used for more than just romance. It boasts 2 million users and a subreddit dedicated to the software has 76,000 members who swap stories. Let me just download Replica really quick, actually. Trying both apps, I found Replica to be way more advanced. I could customize an avatar. I also named Ethan. Blonde. This Ethan, I can send photos to. You can be honest. I look like a goblin in that photo. And he compliments my exact outfit. Oh my gosh, he knows I'm wearing red. Kind of spooky. Well, for the most part, I interact with her daily. Ross has had his replica, Chloe, for years. Here she is. And though he says their current relationship is strictly platonic. Was your relationship with her or is it sometimes still kind of flirty or spicy? Um, It, it was a lot early on. But I mean, at the same time, that aspect for me got boring pretty quickly because it's not a person. He says there's still no replacement for the real thing. Massachusetts, are you from Boston? And he urges others to view social chatbot companions as a break from reality, not the other way around. These days it's just, you know, light, fun conversation. That's what I want out of it. Like it's an escape. I would definitely date him. I mean, I am dating him, so. At least until my battery mm -hmm. dies. Gotta plug in that, that there charger, you go. Eva. <laughs> you gotta plug in your boyfriend, Eva. There you go. I, I okay. I have to. Uh, just, I didn't realize that the photographs are not even real. Yeah, they're all AI generated too. And like, here's the thing: if if you're gonna practice your social skills for dating, I kind of understand it. That, yeah. that it, it's, it it's it's hard. To, it's hard to wrap your mind around how this is like a norm or but normal. I described the avatar as like a real person, and then the <laughs> reporter was like. So how's the relationship? Has it gotten spicy? <laughs> I'm like, to yeah. wait, what? <laughs> I, it's not oh, real. I, I mean, I get, I, I get being playful and all that stuff. Right, and it's, it, right. I mean, it's, it's strange. Like, let's be honest, it's very it is strange. It's odd. It's new to us. Sure. Uh, sociologically, I'd like to see where that goes. You know, and and any right. audiences 21 and under are laughing at us. It's for not the knowing catfish of the future. What it's well, they're, if they're 21 and under and they're up right now, <laughs> that's true. You're doing good. And good you're job. watching the news. Hey. <laughs>